Have you ever wondered if your health could be determined by your family tree? It's a question that has crossed many minds and it's not as far-fetched as it may initially sound. Our health is like a complex puzzle, and our genes are vital pieces that help complete the picture. In the intricate world of genetics, some health conditions can be passed down from generation to generation, just like the color of our eyes or the shape of our nose. These are what we call hereditary health conditions. From heart disease to certain types of cancer, our genes can carry a blueprint of potential health risks that we may have inherited from our ancestors. But it's not all doom and gloom. Knowing these risks could be the key to prevention and early detection. It might be a little daunting but understanding your hereditary health conditions can potentially save your life. So, what exactly are these hereditary health conditions we're talking about? Well, in the simplest of terms, hereditary health conditions are health problems that are passed down from parents to their children through their genes. They're like unwanted family heirlooms, except they're tucked away in your DNA instead of your attic. Now you might be wondering, how does this passing down happen? It's all in our genes, the tiny units of heredity that hold the blueprints for every single trait we possess. From the color of your eyes to the shape of your nose, it's all mapped out in your genes. But sometimes these genes carry more than just physical traits, they can also carry risks for certain health conditions. When a parent has a faulty gene, there's a chance they might pass it on to their child. This doesn't necessarily mean the child will develop the condition, but it does increase their risk. Now there are countless hereditary health conditions out there but let's touch on a few common ones. One of the most well known is probably Huntington's disease, a nerve disorder that typically starts showing symptoms in mid-adulthood. Then there's cystic fibrosis, a condition affecting the lungs and digestive system usually diagnosed in infancy or early childhood. And let's not forget about hereditary forms of cancers like breast and colon cancer, where having a close relative with the disease can significantly increase your risk. It's important to note that just because a condition is hereditary, doesn't mean it's inevitable. Many factors play into whether a person will develop a hereditary condition, including lifestyle and environmental factors. While it may seem like a lot to take in, knowing about these conditions can help you be proactive about your own health. Knowledge, as they say, is power. And in this case, it could be the power to protect your health and possibly even save your life. So let's keep learning because understanding your genetic heritage might just be one of the most important things you do. You might be asking, what causes these hereditary health conditions? Well, let's dive right into it. The root of hereditary health conditions lies within our DNA, which is the blueprint for all the functions and structures in our bodies. Our DNA is organized into segments known as genes, each of which carries instructions for a specific trait or function. Think of it like a recipe book. Each gene is a recipe for a particular dish, and the DNA is the entire cookbook. If there's a mistake or a typo in one of the recipes, it could lead to an unexpected or undesired result. This is essentially what happens in our bodies when there's a mutation or change in one of our genes. It can lead to a gene functioning improperly or not functioning at all, and this can result in a hereditary health condition. The fascinating yet complex part is that these faulty recipes or mutated genes can be passed down from parents to their offspring. This is why certain health conditions seem to run in the family. When a parent has a mutated gene, there's a possibility that they could pass it on to their children. It doesn't necessarily mean the child will develop the condition, but it does increase the likelihood. But it's not as straightforward as it may seem. Some hereditary conditions are caused by mutations in a single gene, while others are influenced by mutations in multiple genes. There are also conditions that can be triggered by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. It's like making a complex dish. Sometimes one wrong ingredient can ruin the whole recipe, other times it's a combination of several wrong ingredients, and sometimes even if the recipe is perfect, external factors like the temperature or cooking time can affect the final product. Understanding the causes of these conditions can help us better prepare and potentially prevent their onset. It's like knowing the potential pitfalls in a recipe, so you can take steps to avoid them and ensure a successful dish. Now that we know what causes these conditions, what are their symptoms and how can we prevent them? Hereditary health conditions as we've learned can be quite diverse, but certain symptoms often occur across various conditions. For instance, unexplained weight loss, chronic fatigue, persistent pain, or sudden changes in vision or mobility can all be signs of an underlying hereditary condition. It's vital to remember, however, that these symptoms don't necessarily mean you have a hereditary health condition, but they are signals that justify a visit to a healthcare professional. 
Perhaps one of the most common hereditary conditions is heart disease. Symptoms may include chest pain, shortness of breath, or even fainting. On the other hand, hereditary cancers often present with unexplained weight loss, persistent pain or changes in the skin. Genetic disorders like cystic fibrosis or sickle cell anemia may manifest through repeated infections or episodes of severe pain. Now let's pivot to prevention. Prevention of hereditary health conditions primarily revolves around early detection and management. Regular checkups and screenings can identify potential issues before they become severe. For instance, mammograms and colonoscopies can detect early signs of hereditary cancers, allowing for immediate intervention. But it's not just about medical screenings. Lifestyle modifications can also play a significant role in managing hereditary health conditions. A balanced diet, regular physical activity, and avoiding harmful habits like smoking can reduce the risk of conditions like heart disease and certain cancers, even if you're genetically predisposed. Genetic counseling is another potent tool in our preventive arsenal. It can provide valuable insights into your genetic makeup and potential risks. Genetic counselors can guide you on the necessary steps to manage these risks effectively, whether that involves more frequent medical screenings or lifestyle changes. In some cases, preventive measures might even include medication or surgery. For instance, individuals with a high genetic risk for heart disease might be prescribed statins to lower cholesterol levels. Similarly, some people at a high risk for certain cancers may opt for preventive surgeries. It's important to remember that prevention doesn't mean elimination of risk. It means managing that risk in a way that allows you to lead a healthier, longer life. You might not be able to change your genes, but you can change how they impact your life. In conclusion, understanding the symptoms of hereditary health conditions is the first step in effective prevention. Regular screenings, lifestyle modifications, and genetic counseling can help manage these conditions and mitigate their impact on our lives. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know about your hereditary health, the better you can protect yourself. To wrap up, let's revisit the key points we've covered today. We began by provoking thought on the importance of understanding hereditary health conditions, a subject that is often overlooked but is crucial for our long-term well-being. Hereditary health conditions are essentially health problems that are passed down from generation to generation through our genes. They are like unwanted family heirlooms that we didn't ask for, but we have to deal with. These range from relatively common conditions like heart disease and diabetes to rare genetic disorders. The causes of these conditions are deeply rooted in our genetic makeup. Our genes, those tiny segments of DNA that decide everything from our hair color to our risk for certain diseases, can sometimes carry mutations. These mutations can lead to hereditary health conditions. It's important to remember that having a genetic mutation doesn't guarantee you'll develop the condition, but it does increase your risk. Moving on to symptoms, they can vary widely from condition to condition and person to person. Some hereditary conditions may present clear symptoms, while others can lurk silently and only become apparent through medical testing. That's why regular checkups and being aware of your family's health history are so crucial. Prevention measures on the other hand are a bit tricky when it comes to hereditary conditions. While we can't change our genes, we can influence how they affect us. Leading a healthy lifestyle, getting regular medical checkups, and seeking genetic counseling if you're at risk, can all help manage and even prevent the onset of hereditary health conditions. In conclusion, understanding hereditary health conditions, their causes, symptoms, and prevention measures, is integral to protecting our health. It's about being proactive rather than reactive, about being informed rather than ignorant. Because as we all know, knowledge is power, and in this case, it could very well be a lifesaver. Your health is your wealth. Stay informed, stay proactive, and most importantly, stay healthy.